How to fix Streamlabs failed to fetch settings from Twitch. Fixing Streamlabs failed to fetch settings from Twitch is important for a smooth and uninterrupted streaming experience, ensuring that your settings are properly synced and updated between the two platforms. Now I'm gonna show you how to do just that. First things first, we are going to restart our Streamlabs, so here's mine here. I'm just gonna close this one. All right, and then I'm going to run it as an administrator, so I'm just going to search it here. And there you go, run as admin. All right, now that we are back, what we're going to do is just click this one here. This is our profile icon. If you're going to click this one, this should appear. So it says that, are you sure you want to log out? So you're just going to click yes. All right, and then let's click it back once again. And this time we are going to log in with our Twitch. So this one here, and this thing should pop out, All right? And then we're going to click authorize. Now, if that doesn't work, what we're going to do is this one here. I want you to go ahead and click your settings. And then here in the search tab, what you're going to do is just type here cache. All right, and you should see here cache directory below. You're just going to click delete cache and restart. So that's what we're going to do. All right, now that we were back, we're going to set it up again. So we're going to click live streaming, click continue. And then you're going to log back in using your Twitch account. All right, there you go. And then you have here one click import from OBS. You can do this one or you can just click start fresh. So in my case, I've already imported something from OBS studio. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click this one here, click start. All right, we're going to go with free. So there goes my scene. So as you can see, this is how it looks before me clearing the cache here. So you have to make sure that you have already exported this one so that you can just easily import it back. And yeah, after doing those steps, I want you to just try to go live from this point forward and see if everything works just the way it should be. And yes, congratulations everybody. That is how you're going to fix Streamlabs failed to fetch settings from Twitch. Oh, and by the way, you should totally think about leveling up your streaming game with Streamlabs Ultra. Click that link in the description box or comments and you'll save an easy $10 off the bat. Don't miss out on hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up if it has been helpful.